Tornado activity across the U.S. has increased this year with more than 470 tornadoes reported through early April. The National Weather Service also has issued the most tornado warnings in nearly 40 years. In tonight's In Depth, CBS's Dave Malkoff reports on the decades old tornado radar system and how it is in desperate need of an upgrade. If it seems like you're seeing a lot of tornadoes lately, you're not wrong. In one week between April 1st through April 7th, there were nearly 500 tornado warnings issued across 17 states in the path of 71 million Americans. But where do these warnings come from? They don't just magically appear on your phone. No matter where you live in America, there's a radar site in your region scanning the skies, looking out for you. But that technology is aging. All right, let's check it out. All right, go ahead. This staircase takes you up and into the future. The only radar like it in the country. The head of NOAA's Severe Storms Lab, Danae Carlos, helped design this upgrade called Phased Array Radar. It can interrogate and scan the sky and send data back to the forecasters every 30 to 60 seconds. The update time for our current weather radar network is every four to six minutes. Imagine what could happen in six minutes. Oh, minutes matter when it comes to forecasting for severe weather and tornadoes. The nation's current radar system dates back to 1988. It was relatively new when two tornadoes touched down near Tulsa, where Carlos went to high school in 1993. When Carlos returned to his old high school with us, he spoke to students about how the work his lab does could save lives. It's going to be what allows us as the federal government to provide you information to protect yourself, protect your family, and protect your property as well. That's especially important since in recent years, tornadoes have happened in every single state. Tornadoes detected by NOAA's nearly 160 radars. We have to go about a process of replacing and upgrading our weather radars across the country. This prototype of phased array radar cost $45 million. Carlos doesn't yet know how much it would cost to upgrade the entire country. They hope to have it ready in the 2030s. Weather radar to me is a national security infrastructure uh, type of technology. We want to always put public safety, trust in the forecast, making sure that we provide the best observations to the American public. And that, Carla says, should be on everyone's radar. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Norman, Oklahoma.